Morning, Ivan. Whatever. I get six coupons here you know, for evaluation. I've already checked dimensions, and they're all according to the requirements of 47.1. The width is okay, the thickness, and the markings on the coupons are still there. There are no critical discontinuities on the size we will be evaluating. Okay, Ivan, let's do the bend test for these three coupons. Okay. There you go. Oh, you got a wrapper around, Jig. That's right. Oh, that's a beauty, yeah. Absolutely. I noticed that you've got a plunger type jig here also. And this is the jig that most of our clients use when they do their own bending. That's right, I noticed that too. Okay, Ivan, number one and number three are the root bends. Okay. And number two is the face bend. Okay. Are you going to use the wrap around? That's correct. What diameter is the mantle here? That's uh, 38 millimeters and an inch and a half. So as mentioned before, coupon number one and number three is going to be root bend. Number two is going to be the face bend. When we bend the root bend, the side with the stamp number will go against the manual. Like so. Clamp it down. We're going to start the machine. Then we're going to do is the face pan. With the face pan, the stamped side of the plate will go the opposite side of the mandrel. Clamp it down again. Face is completed. Ivan, right, here's the next three coupons, all side bands. Okay, ready to go. I'm going to load it into the into the jig with the number side facing up. You can also be loaded with the number side facing down as well. After bending, uh, the evaluation includes checking for a 180 degree bend, the convex surface of the coupon will be evaluated and we will be looking for a 3 millimeter or 1 eighth of an inch greater open defect. Also we will be looking for a 1 millimeter up to 3 millimeter open defect which will accumulate up to a maximum of 10 millimeter or 3 eighths of an inch. Beyond that, it's a failure. We will allow a tear from the edge of the coupon in up to 6 millimeters or a quarter of an inch, unless there is slag inclusion or lack of fusion where 3 millimeters or 1 eighth of an inch is allowed only.